I'm here at one of my favorite places in Florence, the convent of San Marco. A perfectly preserved 15th century Dominican convent that was designed by the great architect Michelozzo for Cosimo de' Medici, and in fact is home to some of the greatest paintings of the early Renaissance. From the moment you first walk through the door and you are greeted by this majestic 15th century cloister, which was one of Michelozzo's architectural masterpieces, you know that you are in a special place. And in fact, it's off of that cloister that we have the Pinacoteca, or the painting gallery, inside of the convent, which is home to the first Renaissance-style altarpiece called the San Marco altarpiece, which was painted by an in-house artist, a priest and painter by the name of Fra Angelico. But it's when you go upstairs that you truly discover the magic of San Marco because you are greeted by one of the most celebrated paintings of the early Renaissance, which is Fra Angelico's Annunciation. Painted there 600 years ago and still there for you to enjoy today. And the upstairs is actually the dormitory level of the convent. There are 43 cells where in fact the Dominican friars slept each of which was decorated with a fresco by Fra Angelico and his workshop. And those frescoes are masterpieces in their own right. Images like the Annunciation, the Transfiguration, the Coronation of the Virgin Mary, and in fact, one of those cells was reserved for the patron of the entire building, and that was Cosimo de Medici. But perhaps the most celebrated inhabitant of the convent of San Marco was the fire and brimstone apocalyptic preacher named Fra Girolamo Savonarola, who in fact was prior here and was later arrested here as well. And you can visit Savonarola's cell, where ironically there is a painting of his execution in Piazza della Signoria on May 23rd of the year 1498. A true treasure trove of Renaissance art and architecture here at the convent of San Marco. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Rockies Italy, so that you don't miss any of the great weekly content, all of it shot here directly in Italy.